Turbochargers are parasites driven by exhaust gas energy leaching off the heat and pressure to spin a turbine wheel. It's obvious why these exhaust gases are hot, they've just come straight from combustion, but why the hell do they have pressure in the first place? The enemy of any four-stroke engine is back pressure. You want zero of it or even vacuum if you could get away with it. Back pressure robs horsepower because the piston has to fight against it just to push exhaust gases out of the cylinder. So in theory, without back pressure, your exhaust gases shouldn't pressurize the manifold at all. But once you slap a turbocharger onto that manifold, things change, the word back pressure suddenly gets rebranded into something called drive pressure. Every time a piston rises on its exhaust stroke, it pushes hot exhaust gas through the turbine wheel. That restriction builds what engineers politely refer to as drive pressure to spool the turbo. Pressure is the result of pumping through restriction. In this case, the pump is the piston on the exhaust stroke, and the restriction is the turbine wheel itself. The harder that piston has to push, the more energy is wasted as pumping loss, energy that could have mostly gone to the crankshaft, but instead goes into driving the turbine. That brings us to pumping loss is one of the most overlooked forces in an engine, the major force during engine braking. On gasoline motors, it's vacuum pumping losses as the throttle plate restricts air. On diesels, it's compression pumping losses because there's no throttle plate at all. Either way, you're fighting resistance. So when people say turbochargers make free power by reusing exhaust energy, they're missing the mechanism behind it. That exhaust energy doesn't come for free, it's extracted by force, by resistance, and your crankshaft pays for it every exhaust stroke. With that said, turbochargers also regain that lost energy and then some due to their nature and are one of the greatest automotive inventions of all time. So stop calling turbochargers free energy. They're efficient, sure, but they're not free. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like this video, and comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.